Hey, hey, hello. This is Gultu Bam back with another collective reading for all of you, for whoever is needed. So we will see that what spirit has today, uh, what messages we need to deliver, what messages you need to hear. If you're going to resonate with this energy, this is for you. If it's not, then definitely it's not for you. Let it go. Um, it's not maybe mean for you. Um, this is a general reading definitely going to we will see that what the messages are today and what are going to be picked up today what you just want to deliver today and what you need to hear you can book a personal reading everything is given in my description box you can reach out to me uh, to, for a booking if you're interested um, so let's see what's happening for my collective today what's happening for this uh, month maybe or maybe whenever you're going to watch it this message is meant to find you so let's see uh, what's happening for you who is coming towards you what's happening next that you don't see coming who you don't see coming what's happening around you anything that you really need to know right now so let's see what spirit has to say okay thank you spirit so we have the sun love the card the sun i think i have to show you the card yes here you go the sun okay you could be dealing with leo or you could be a leo and then we have the five of pentacles okay you could be born into a year of uh, horse the horse year of chinese or this person could be so we got the high priestess but the card is okay we got the st the moon and we also got the seven of cups okay so we have the moon and sun interesting yin and yang energy here so you're definitely dealing with someone who is opposite of you and we also this card came up together so i'm gonna take it with the high priestess yeah the moon the more hidden the secret so i think uh some of you that's the high priestess yes you can see it not her body okay so the moon and the seven of cups it's definitely talk about you're dealing with someone um that who is keeping a lot of secret so the secret is coming out the first card is the sun so it means something is going to reveal to you that is going to put you on a direction it's almost feel like a chariot but it's a sun so that's why i was confused like what is this so it's almost feel like a chariot but it's not there's something is going to make a move there's something is going to be very revealed to you the the truth is coming out that is going to set you free or that is going to make you happy maybe that is going to put you on a fire because i'm seeing there's a fire there's a direction here there's a happiness for some of you this could be also on a vacation for maybe some of you you're going on a vacation um and and you're going to explore a lot of things with the moon and seven of cups you never thought that you're going to take a, maybe a solo traveling or maybe you never thought that you're going to move somewhere you're going to travel somewhere because of your finances you thought that no I, it's not possible i'm not the one so let me tell you with the high priestess and the moon you don't see coming you are definitely going to travel even though you feel like you're broke you don't have money in your bank account or you don't have money enough money i can see that that's what you're manifesting so keep manifesting your desires being delusional because with the moon and seven of cups it's look like you know i really like that when i <laughs> when i saw the videos on tiktoks especially on channel readings or things they there's a comments there like thank you for being you know making feeding our delusions or there's a delusional thing so it's like feeding delusion the moon and seven of cups just definitely talk about the dream come true i know it's a delusion but it's not a delusion the sun you can do it you can achieve it so if you're not going to manifest it if you're not going to dream about it how are you going to achieve it think about it if you don't have any dream if you don't have being if you're not going to be delusional if you're not going to imagine things if you're not going to manifest things how that you're going to do that's how the, our mind work that's how the manifestations are so keep manifesting i think you never know what you can do what you can you're going to be surprised by yourself some of you so let me tell you you're definitely going to what you don't see coming i'm seeing that you de you can manifest lot of opportunities that can bring you happiness joy success and also talking about um exploring different places different things different people you never know some of you with the high priestess and the moon um that's you you're going to reveal there's something about you there's something like hidden truth about you you're going to reveal something there, there's something is going to reveal to you about yourself okay you may be going to find your talents with the seven of cups you're going to find something in you that you're going to feel like oh my god i never think about it i can do it you're also going to feel like you're more powerful than you ever been 
So this is like claiming your power back. With the moon and sun, yin and yang energy, you are balancing your masculine and feminine energy. With the high priestess, it's like in the five of pentacles, some of you, it's been you. you, you, you you're definitely going to find the truth that it's been you, that you are feeling, you're feeling left out of the cold. But why? Why not? You can explore other options. Why not? You can be with other people. This is not the only one person that you will die without that person. I know you, there's, you definitely going, there's something is going to reveal to you that this is not you. But you really make this person or this situation is like the issue of your ego or there was something about you, like you're going to discover about yourself, like I just need to free myself from this situation. Something like that. The Moon and Seven of Cups also talk about uh, hidden or some type of, I'm seeing that almost it's like you don't see coming, it's like there's a lot of options, there's a lot of opportunities, there's a lot of, like your dream can come true. Pay attention to your dreams, pay attention to your signs, because there's something that you, you saw in your dream or are you already dreaming or imagining or something coming in your mind, like you keep seeing it everywhere, it's a sign with the High Priestess from Universe. But you're not paying attention to it. You don't believe it. You don't have faith with the Five of Pentacles. But this time, you're going to see it. I think only the people who believe in this, they're going to see it. Now, let's see more. It's like a dream come true. Your dream is coming true. There you go. Queen of Swords. Yeah. So, this could be about you. Mm. Someone is feeling left out in the cold because you become silent and you're not giving any more attention to this person. You really cut this person out from your life, whoever this is. With the Queen of Swords. Yes, look at this. You could be Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. You could be Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Uh, your sun and moon could be conjunct with this person, whoever it is. You could be totally opposite from each other, um, but it's like opposite attracts here. Because the moon and sun, whenever it's conjunct, it's like... It's like there's a definitely a lot of Im imagination, dreams. It's about illusions. It's about deception. It's about confusion. It's also about delusions. Like you maybe think it's only you you're dreaming about this person. It's not the case. This is not you only. Because there's someone who's going to reveal to you like they're also into you, but they're keeping it secret. Because of maybe some finances reason or because maybe they think they're not worthy of you. This could be also someone there's a power struggle going on here between you and this person. I feel almost power struggle. Are there some type of uh, differences with the moon and sun? This person could be Aquarius or Pisces. Definitely a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Queen of Pentacles. Here you go. So this could be same gender relationship for some, not for everyone. And others of you, this is like, yeah, with the Queen of Swords and Queen of Pentacles, like, wow, you are this queen. Like, you are everything that whoever this person ever wanted. Wow, someone is definitely seeing that you're growing up. You're, this is divine feminine energy. So a lot of you, you could be empowering and coming into your divine feminine energy. But this is also your era. Your, uh, your, this is you becoming more successful, independent, sitting on your throne. Do not care about anyone. Because this is... Now, you're not settling for less. That's what you need because queen, you're becoming queen, this queen of swords and queen of pentacles. Now you will have options and you will choose people. Mm. Just saying. Wow. Five of wands and we also have eight of pentacles and we have six of wands. You're winning it. I think there's a lot of people who are seeing you as a competition. There could be a woman here, could be another woman who's seeing you secretly is could be copycatting you like copying you there could be a lot of people not only one woman but there's definitely one specific woman here okay with the high priestess could be hiding her true intentions towards you and this could be the woman that is going to be revealed to you so trust your intuition trust your vibes when you feel up when you're around people or when you're around someone this could be a woman or someone could have a feminine energy Okay, does not have to be because I'm also seeing the masculine. So you definitely have someone who is feeling competition to you because they feel like you are getting more success, more money, more maybe famous popularity. Um, you could be becoming the re you're becoming you know like you you could be climbing the ladder of success. You are reaching to the level of success, and these people are definitely not happy for you because they are definitely five of wands is feeling competition with you. 
and you're definitely finally going to know who is these people. I think there's a lot of people who are co copycatting you, but they're still not getting what you what you have because you have your own talent. I think you're deserved. You could be an earth angel, you could be a star seed, I don't know, but there's something about your aura, your happiness, the way you do things, it's, it's something different. Now we also have the eight of pentacles. Yes, these could be people who are at your workplace feeling competition with you. There could be some th something could be coming out of the surface. These people are there someone specifically at your workplace you have a fight with or you have something to do. Like you feel very, you feel like there's something there. This person is interested in you or this person could be interested in you. I think they're going to show their interest in you, but they could be giving you hints. It's a secret. They're not revealing it. We also have the six of wands. So you are definitely going to win this success, going to win this battle. You're going to definitely, it's like you're still winning over your enemies or your haters, whoever these people are. Now I'm also saying that whoever you're dealing with, maybe this person has a choice, okay? And I think this person wanna choose you and they need to face this all challenge obstacles. And that's what they could be afraid of. This person could be afraid of, you know, finances or they could be afraid of this fighting there's a lot of people here against this connection but this person definitely look at this i'm almost feeling fighting so this person definitely not with the moon and and here you can see that this person is definitely fighting they may be fighting their feelings because of their ego and pride but i don't think so you're gonna win they, they definitely see you that you're being um gorgeous just sitting there and this is definitely someone coming now well, let's see more because i'm almost I'm not seeing this person only in the cards. So let's see who's this person that's coming towards my collective. Who is this person that's coming towards my collective place? Okay, so we have the Hierophant and Three of Cups. This person is still not showing up here. Okay, bottom of the deck we have the Page of Wands. So this person could be younger than you or they could have a very youthful energy and I'm not surprised um with the page of wands and the sun starting from the leo so this person could be leo or leo placements or this person could be very young youthful sunflower could be important yeah i think this could be someone who's really interested in you with a, a this person could be a new person two pages oh uh, oh my goodness so I'm, I'm feeling this person is going to send you a message there will be a new beginning between you and this person either it's a new person uh, with the Ace of Pentacles and Queen of Pentacles, this is definitely someone who sees your worth and value. We also have, look, Hierophant and Three of Cups. It's, it's, it's giving me celebration. It's giving me the marriage proposal with the Hierophant. This person could be somehow, is very, with the, with the Sun and Hierophant, could be someone who, there's a lot of people look up to this person. So this person could be some type of a priest, um, entrepreneur, successful teacher, guru, mentor, leader for community, leader for people. So that's why this person could have a repetition. This person could be a well-known person. Maybe that's why. We also have the Hierophant and Three of Cups. Definitely talk about well-known person in their community, whoever this is. This person is well-known in their own community. Maybe that's why this person is afraid of money, finances, afraid of fighting, hate they're going to receive because it's the differences between you and this person. Or could be the different of the status. With the Hierophant and Three of Cups, this is definitely someone who wants to I think they're going to send you a message no matter what. With the two pages, page of cup, page of wands, and ace of pentacle, this person wants a new beginning. Or this could be literally a new person who is coming or entering in your life, going to change your life. Yeah, there could be an age gap here between you and this person. Either this is you, you are younger, or they could be older than you, or that could be them. Maybe they're younger, but they have a more experience than you because of their profession, because of their work because of their community i don't know they have a more experience than you and others of you this could be th talking about like this is someone that you definitely it's like a new beginning new start between you and this person something is coming that's going to change your life with this person this person definitely they are dark night of the soul with the moon card illusions this person could be coming out of the dark night of the soul um they could be finally realizing self-love yeah this is what you're doing you're releasing. Yeah, this person could have a bad influence. They could be listened to other people, their friends, uh, and they really maybe did you wrong. Uh, could be a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. This person could be afraid of bad influence of other people. Like, yeah, this person could have a haters. If this is not you, you have haters. Maybe this person has a lot of haters and enemies. But I think very soon you're going to receive 
uh, some type of a clari uh, clarification, message, conversation. Yeah, yin and yang, I told you, karmic partner. This is someone who you have a life lessons with. Um, you, you maybe have a past life ties with. This is someone that you already know. You're going through a lot. It's not illusion. You know who this person is. And they're going to make it clear to you. Yeah, there's a fresh start here between you and this person. And this time, this person really wants to start all over again with a new beginning. It's real. It's going to be real. Yeah, because you're going to celebrate. We have a three of cups, celebration and celebration. Yes, so you're going to celebrate this union with this person. Um, again, you're definitely seeing this person. Pay attention to your dreams. Uh, your spirit guides are sending messages through your dreams. So this is someone who already came up into your dream. And it's like a dream come true into reality. Dream is coming into reality, becoming your reality. You're going to celebrate this. And what you're celebrating, it's romance. This person is longing for you. They're missing you. They're going to send you a message. They're definitely going to send you a message. I'm not feeling, don't be worried about, don't worry about karmic partner. No, don't get. This is someone that you have a lesson to learn with. And they're learning their lesson. You become silent and that's, now this person is learning. But the Hierophant is also like a teacher. You become the teacher for this person or they become the teacher for you. So you both are learning the lessons from each other. And what your lesson learning is a self-love. When you free your soul, when you free yourself from expectations or future, that's how you manifest what you deserve. And that's where it's coming for you. The love of your life. Yeah, so that's your reading. I'll see you later. Bye.